you love me? Or are you taste testing me? Hello, I am Alicia and this is Leviathan and welcome to our channel. He has found the treats. Let's see if we can get him to sit down and settle. So we have his CBD made with love biscuits. Great for those sassy, anxious baby boys like Levi. Such a good boy. Good job. Yes. Stay. He's a little pushy when it comes to food. Stay. Good boy. Once again, I'm Alicia. Welcome to our channel. This is Leviathan. He is an eight-year-old Siberian Husky mix. Um, we're not a hundred percent sure um, on his breed. We got him from the Carson um, Animal Shelter here in Southern California um, and he was an owner surrender. He has been in my life a total of 87 days and we are working on boundaries. <laughs> Uh, respecting other animals space primarily uh, my other dog rascals space we're learning how to not be so pushy with food as well as yes as well as healing sitting and down look at that good job bud um, it's been a crazy 87 days um, while I love him I am very thankful that uh, the shelter kept him for nearly two months I can't say that there hasn't been trials and tribulations in our relationship I certainly think he's worth it but I can definitely see why so many Huskies are returned to shelters um, once someone adopts them, you know, already as an adult. Uh, you never know your history. Sometimes um, animal control officers, shelters can get a, a lot of history information into the notes, but um, that doesn't happen frequently. And it, it's kind of like, a, a basket case situation you adopt a dog you hope for the best uh, you put in the amount of work you're willing to put into it we all have different levels that we're willing to commit to and you just kind of hope for the best and then if the best isn't really where you need it to be uh, then you need to look for a different al alternate which for a lot of people that ends up with the dog returning back to the shelter so Leviathan really likes to eat grass and dirt. Um, we need to do more testing. He might have anemia. If your pet eats dirt like constantly, uh, it can be a sign of boredom. It can be a sign of health issues. He could be bored. He very well could be bored. He's like, mom, you're filming. This does not fulfill my need. Being on camera does not fulfill my need. Uh, but there could also be something wrong with him. We've only had a few doctor visits. Um, what they primarily wanted me to do was have him go on a diet because they thought he was a little heavy. Yeah, they thought you were a little chonky. They thought you were a husky husky. Um, and they also wanted me to bring him in for a teeth cleaning. They felt like that wasn't something that had happened for him before and he had quite a bit of black on his canines. Um, that's another thing, downside when you adopt from a shelter, um, you don't really know their health history. You also don't know how they were bred. Um, there could be some breeding issues in there. Um, three of my huskies have been rescues. Um, one of my huskies was from a breeder. Uh, he was the first dog I ever got. My first dog was a breeder dog. And I learned quite a few things from him. Uh, 
He'll always be the number one husk in my heart. But I really think, so Leviathan's original name was Canelo. Canelo, is that your name? Is your name Canelo? He's like, well, I'll be whoever you want me to be as long as you give me treats. <laughs> um, he was surrendered right after Christmas. I believe it was December 28th, 2021. Um, and he was a volunteer favorite, um, which I mean, it's easy to see why he is handsome. He is loving, he is charming. He didn't have any play notes. So play notes are a dog will go into the yard with other dogs. Usually they'll have like tester dogs. Like these are dogs that usually get along with everybody. And then you'll see what kind of play style they have. Do they like to be rough? Are they dainty? Um, do they not like other dogs at all? Do they just tense up and freeze? Do they have a fight or flight response? <sighs> Yeah. Um, and in the two months he was there, he only went to play group once. He had an altercation, or a preemptive altercation, let's call it. He was very tense. There was another husky. She was like all up on his butt. She was a fiery, feisty little lady. Uh, and so it was recommended that he go to a home with calm animals. <laughs> um, we thought with his age, he'd be a good fit for our male uh, rascal. We had recently, the day before, let our other husky um, cross the Rainbow Bridge, and we were concerned that he would be lonely. And I'll be honest, in my heart of hearts, I didn't want another dog. Um, dogs are expensive training, uh, even if you go like a, the most affordable option, which is group classes, say lo um, local to you, sometimes dog trainers will offer them through um, community centers, um, you know, like your local park system, and sometimes you can get six sessions for 160 bucks. Now that's a bet, you know, and it's usually, you know, a group of six to ten other people. Um, once a week um, or you can go to Petco or the other P we don't mention that P on this channel <laughs> um, and they also have group classes and individual classes I believe it comes out to less than $30 I think it's like $28 something like that um, for group classes, um, those type, pl I should say those type places, Petco, I believe only offers a positive reinforcement type training. Some dogs don't benefit for, from positive reward based only training. Sometimes you need some type of a correction, whether it be with a slip lead, a prong collar, an e-collar, a muzzle um, and you won't really find that there from my experience um, so we we met Levi he didn't seem really interested in other dogs he was very calm in his kennel very mellow um, walked past all the other dogs barking and crying up and down the aisles uh, he didn't really wasn't really that interested in the other dogs um, in the play area like we got to go into our own section of the play area and other dogs kind of came and, and went Levi I'm gonna try and get him to come back over to me because I don't really want him necessarily eating so much grass grass can also mean that they just need more fiber in their diet